Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the new video. Firstly, apologies for not bringing the video tomorrow. Actually, like the work is legit a lot. Legit. Today also, I just slept way too early just to show off to wake up early and make this video. Cool. Let's start, let's start with the video itself. It's very, very, very easy. Even if you have not solved yesterday's problem, still, by this logic, it will easily be solved. It's more or less the same. But yeah, cool. Let's start with the problem with yourself. Uh, course schedule. Very easy, very, very easy. Uh, if you had watched our Bob Graph series, for sure, you would be able to solve this. And stop. Uh, cool. Uh, there are total of num courses you have to take. Uh, labeled from 0 to num course minus 1. So, I have num courses. Like, labeled from 0, 1, 2, up to num courses minus 1. And what I am given is, I am given an array called as prerequisites. Where the prerequisites of i is, not, is nothing but ai, comma bi, where I am saying that you must take the course bi first if you want to take the course ai. So if I want to take the course ai, I have to take the course bi first. So this ordering needs to be followed. So firstly, 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 as we're reading this line, one thing I got to know is that order of taking courses is important. As soon as we know, okay, a something kind of directed picture is being coming in because it is a directed, okay, after bi, uh, after bi only I can take ai and then it is just saying, okay, the order is important. So as soon as this order picture comes in, uh, order is important. So you should, you should start thinking of a topological sort. When order is written, okay, order is important. Something like this order is coming in picture. Think of topological sort. And also if it is saying, although it is not in this problem, but yeah, if it is saying that every previous state must be visited only then you can visit the next state then also think of topological sort so as soon as you just see okay something like this is question is saying something either ordering or something of this sort then start at the back of your mind start thinking of topological sort cool now i have to return true if it is possible to finish all courses now to finish course you know what it is happening I have to take a course BI because it is not dependent on any course. So I can start with this course. When I finish the course BI, when this course is finished, then only I can start with the course AI because to start with the course AI, I need to finish the course BI first. So it is by short okay. I can start off with a course which has no dependency and I will keep on finishing it. And then as soon as I finish it, other course will open, me, open for me and then I can start doing that course itself same uh here you so here you saw that okay courses are two uh prerequisites is saying okay first you can okay course one is dependent upon course zero so course zero is independent of everything so i will finish the course zero starting off with course zero then as soon as the course zero finishes then i can finish the course one so for sure i can finish all the courses which are zero and one thus i have written a true here in this example for course 0, it's dependent upon course 1 and course 1 is dependent upon course 0. So, both are dependent upon each other. So, for sure, I cannot even start off with any course. So, I cannot even finish off all the courses. So, for sure, its answer is false because it I cannot finish all the courses. So, in this, you easily saw one thing. Okay, you can start off with uh, some courses which has no dependency and then you can keep on finishing them. Keep on finishing them. But as soon as the courses comes in which are dependent upon each other which means a cycle is kind of present because you will see if this cycle is present so it is dependent upon the course f course f is dependent upon e and e is dependent upon back on c so all these as soon as a cycle comes in picture which says okay it is dependent upon each other which means okay I won't be able to finish these set of courses and because of this I won't be able to finish these also so as soon as a cycle comes in picture and for sure it's a directed graph because you know a is dependent upon b b is dependent upon a so this xyz and it is saying okay zero is dependent sorry one is dependent upon zero so it is directed graph so as soon as I can find, okay, if there is a cycle in a directed graph, which means for sure, those set of courses will be impacted. And because of them, these courses will not be finished. For sure, all the courses will not be finished. If anyhow, I can find a cycle in a directed graph. So for sure, your point, your problem breaks down to this one thing. 
it is the reason and you can so solve this by using simple bfs also dfs also and topological sort also but i said and in topological sort in the bar graph series i have told you both the bfs and dfs way but still i have told you the best and the most important thing is intuition you thought of order order topological sort so for sure it is the reason although i'm explaining the entire stuff but it is a reason topological sort is the first intuition which should come in your mind and with this as earlier i have also told in this the bfs is the most easiest way to solve a topological sort problem because it's very intuitive just start from the uh, just what what it says it just start from the ones who have no dependencies just take them as soon as you take them this thing is gone so next thing which comes in okay the n degree of this c will reduce the n degree of b is reduced as soon as it's reduced to zero just push that in the cube then other element starts off with b again as it is gone in degree of this is again gone so in degree of c is again reduced but still no way no way in degree of c is gonna reach zero because it is dependent upon f2 which is in turn dependent upon e which is in turn dependent upon c so for sure it will stay in like this and the in degree will stay in like this and it will never get changed thus for sure because of the cycle its in degree will never come to zero and thus it will never go inside a q and thus it will never be evaluated and thus it will never be counted in the topological sort thus i can easily say and find out if i have finished all the courses or not because if i just go and ultimately ask everyone hey everyone has in degree zero now if yes okay i have finished all the courses if no which means something of cycle sort would have been remaining and for sure because of that in degree would have not been zero let's quick, let's quick, quick, quickly see the code it's very 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 simple and thus firstly i know i have to make a graph so i just made a graph simple vector of vector graphs and for sure i know that all my courses are just the num courses so i just take those num courses you also know for topological sort you just start off with some nodes to know from which node to start off you need to know the in degree of every node because topological sort is entirely based on in degree you start off with a node which has in degree zero and then you just keep on using those nodes and keep on going on to the new nodes as the in degree becomes zero again so for sure i need to take the in degrees right then i just go on and start building my graph because of this prerequisites you know if the prerequisite is a comma b so i need to make a graph as b is pointing to a which means a is dependent upon b so i know if the graph is something like this i know i need to make that b depends a depends upon b cool i made the same thing right it is a a depends upon b now comes the most interesting part that okay our graph is made okay the pre-course it just is depend like it depends the course is dependent upon pre-course so i just made the graph and for sure the course is having one edge incoming edge so in degree of the course will increase it is just making the graph and placing and plea and uh, updating our in degrees now i need to actually start with a topological sort which is a bfs for, for for that i need a q what i will push in my q all the nodes which have in degree as zero so i just iterated on all the courses which have in degree as zero and push that in my queue now i can actually start with my bfs while not q.mt simply get to the front course simply go on because i know i'm removing this course i'm removing this course i know i'm about to remove this course right i know i'm about to remove this course right it was having a this and this i know i was about to remove this course so for sure I'm, as i'm about to remove this course the u because it is a, a u comma v right in a graph it's a u comma v so as i'm about to remove a u so i have to reduce the in degree of v so what i will do is as i removed a u as i removed a course so i will remove the in degree of the next courses for which i removed a course because i removed a course so for next course i will simply remove the in degree thus i remove the in degree of the next courses it just simply means if you have a a and you have a b now this b is having also a c so now if you removed an a so after removing an a the in degree of b will, re will reduce by one as soon as you remove a c also the degree of b will again reduce by one so that is what is happening here itself now i know as soon as any elements in degree become zero it is good for me to push that in my queue 
as soon as it becomes zero i can simply push that in my queue it is just simply a logic of topological sort which is the only part in bfs which is extra as soon as the n degree of some node becomes then only you can push that in your queue in the actual simple bfs it is not the case you can simply go and push that in a queue as soon as you encounter a v but in topological sort you can only push it in the queue only when you have so you have seen all its previous state which means the n degree has finally reached zero cool now i will ultimately go and check if everyone has n degree zero if it is not the case which means someone would have been there which was like something like a cycle would have been formed due to which my actual graph would have been impacted and it and everyone would not have got a chance to become the n degree as zero so for sure if anyone has n degree as not zero which means a cycle would have been there which, which would have impacted my whole structure of topology sort so please return a false if it is not if everyone has a degree as zero then please simply return a true simply the complexity of uh, a topological sort a simple bfs o of v plus e but 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 although the space is o of v if you just remember but you also made a graph by yourself so a space for that also would come in picture although if the graph would have already been made so the composition would have been the space would have been o of v plus o of v only but yeah the graph you already made the graph you make made your by yourself so it is o of v plus e c plus plus java and python code are down below i hope that you guys got it it's a very 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 easy problem so yeah so you're gonna get bye bye